Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to episode number 112 of my player here in Xbox One. We're having a look at the best bits from season 2 today. The season 1 best bits went down very well indeed. If you enjoy the video, feel free to hit that like button and show some support. Of course, again, the uh, the footage has been re-rendered from the original video, so the, uh, the quality of it might be a little bit affected. But without further ado, season 2 best bits. We've got the touch now, we've got the finish, we just need that physical, uh, extra little bit of physical prowess. But as we go for a finesse shot... Again, hits the defender, and unfortunately, they're going to clear it. Although, if we won it back, can we finish? Tidy finish into the bottom corner. We have our second goal in a Chelsea shirt, the first of this season, and it comes in the second pre-season friendly yet again. It's Genoa nil, Chelsea 1, and we get the goal. Picked up the ball. We've got a run, that's Ramirez. I'll go for the return ball. We have, I'll take it early on my left foot. Oh, what a finish! That picks up the hat-trick. That is a wonderful goal. Oh, my days. On the weak foot as well. Right into the top right-hand corner, in off the post. That is, ah, oh, that is probably the best goal we've scored so far in our career. I put that above the goal that we scored from outside the box with Sheffield United. Weak foot for the hat-trick on the left-hand side across the goalkeeper, in off the stanchion of the top right. That is, hands down, that is definitely my favourite goal that we've scored so far in this entire series in 32 episodes. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's so good. Back to Oscar. And a call for the ball from Ramirez. He's not found us, but he has found Willian. Lovely feet to get around the man. Oh, Willian, that is just absolutely filthy. Takes it around the goalkeeper as well. We have a 1-0 lead in the 20th minute. The little Brazilian gives us the advantage in this game. That was so, so ridiculously good from Willian there. Great first touch. Great feet to get around the sliding tackle from Phil Jones. Even better feet to send De Gea sprawling at his... At the, uh, the ground, oh, that's just so good. If that is the sort of football we can expect in a first-team season at Chelsea, then I am definitely looking forward to this second year. I'm going to leave you, as always, when we win a cup or when we have a cup situation like this with the, uh, the commentary from Martin Tyler and Anna Smith. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. And I will leave you now with our famous two commentators. You can't take for granted you'll ever win anything again. So when you do get a winner's medal, as they're getting here and celebrating, just drink it in, milk the moment. Yeah, it's easy to think that the good times will keep on evolving, but it's not always the case. And I think these players appreciate that. It's been a brilliant occasion. Uh, we got an email. Manager, uh, league expectations updated due to injury. I want to let you know that I've updated your league expectations to reflect... The fact you're missing some time with the injury, I hope that once you get your full fitness back, you'll be able to continue playing at the high standard you were before this unfortunate event. Enforced break, how long are we out for? Just three weeks, that's okay. Three weeks is alright, we will be able to cope with that, a three week break. But still, it's disappointing, we were in a great run of form there. Moses has played me in early on. We've got the pace to get around. Wow, this is just too easy against the League 2 opposition. And one minute in, we have our first goal. Unfortunately for Dagenham and Redbridge, uh, they're not the best of opposition, it seems to be. But the first thing that happens in the game is we take a 1-0 lead through ourselves. Nice ball from Victor Moses, and then we just had too much pace for the back line to cope with us. Where's, where's John going? He's found me. We'll give it a whack. There's the hatchet right into the bottom corner. That makes it 5-0. And uh, for some reason, I can't do my uh, my normal celebration. Not really too sure why, but still, we'll take a hat trick five nil now in this game in the uh, in the Capital One Cup. Unfortunately for Dagenham, they just are no match for us right now. Even a reserve Chelsea side, they just cannot cope. Decent finish as well, away from the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. No chance. 5-0. We haven't been selected for the game against Lazio in the Champions League, which is quite unsurprising, considering we we played against Everton just two days ago, so you'd expect the manager to, uh, to put us back in for West Brom, perhaps, although we haven't been in uh, very good form recently. The past two games have been quite poor from us. We haven't scored since that Reading game, but uh, we were involved in a lot of the action in the games against City and Everton and Manchester United for that matter. But we've got a game against Lazio here in the Champions League which we need a win from and we have managed to pick up a win from both Hazard scoring and carrying Benzema which is unfortunate for our first team uh, competitiveness so to speak because if Benzema starts scoring goals he's going to get selected ahead of us considering we only play one up top. And should pick the ball up off Chico here. If we can get Maradona turning around the defender we can. 
And slotted bottom corner, yes, very tidy indeed. That's our 50th goal, as you can see in the top right-hand corner. Ball control has gone up one. New haircut, new boots, doing us proud. We're 1-0 up in the 12th minute. A fantastic way to start this game. Try and turn away, break away. Talking Hazard. Can you find me? You can. We'll turn to get around the defender. We've done well. Can we finish this game with a goal and an assist? You bet your ass we can. That's a goal and an assist in both games today. We are most definitely in the shot window. Hopefully that will uh, instigate a, a low move from a better club or a club in a stronger league than Celtic and the SPL. He's a keeper that tends to uh, to kind of palm the ball away rather than catch it. Another European in that playing style as opposed to just using handling and get the end of it. Ball's come our way. We've won the header. Oh, that is a powerful header. We haven't headed a ball like that in a very long time. Fantastic start to this game. We've had opportunities and now we've taken the lead. It's Chelsea 1, Manchester City 0 in the FA Cup. I'm not sure whether I would have actually made it to the ball there, but still, decent run from the defender. Nice to see him get forward. Willian is going to play me, bring that down, Chez. Oh, I need to get a shot away quickly. We've picked up a second goal. Joe Hart, absolutely no chance with that one. We'll celebrate. I actually want to see a replay of that because I was quite impressed with the way we brought that down and dispatched the shot. I don't know why, but today, with that finesse shot in the first game and now that we've taken that header and that uh, finish today, that my man feels a little bit better, like he's progressed a little bit more in his career. I feel a little feel more deadly in front of goal, despite obviously having so many shots against Norwich and only scoring or only getting an assist. But still, that is a fantastic strike into that top right hand, top left hand corner rather, outside the boot shot in fact. But uh, still, Chelsea 2, Chesnoy 2, Manchester City 0. What can company do against me? Not much. I've actually broken away from the challenge. Oh, 200 shots on target and with the 200th, we pick up the hat trick. I wasn't sure whether the space was going to open up for that chance there. Who is the loan offer from? Everton. That is definitely a move that we could make. And we are in January, so you would have thought that I would be first team striker every single week at Everton. So I am going to accept the loan deal. Now whether it goes through before we actually play this game against Swansea, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I would presume it's instant, so we won't play against Swansea. But as you can see, it says the Everton board would be happy to have you at the club and are offering you the wage of £70,000 a week. We hope we can help to develop you during your loan period and that you can contribute to our season. Now, they currently sit 7th in the league, I think it is, and they're pushing for the European spots. Come down the right-hand side. Seamus Coleman is, of course, an attacking wing-back. We're going to get the ball from... Oviedo here, twisting and turning away. Well, I'm actually going to break away from the defender. Try and dink it over Ross Turnbull. Could this be our first chipped goal? It just makes it over the line. Just brought Theo Walker on for Aaron Lennon. So, if anything, an even bigger injection of pace on that right-hand side. We haven't quite won that, but I'm going to call for the ball from Tom Cleverley. This is the chance. A cross goal, bottom corner. We have our first goal of our England careers. I'm going to go and celebrate with the man that... Oh, I wanted to go and celebrate with the man that played with the ball. Tom Cleverley, of all players, picks up the assist. We used Leighton Baines as we come down this left-hand side. In fact, Leighton might use me again if I call for it, and he has done. Get this all the way out to, uh, to Kevin Rallis, because Ross Barkley can make a run off him, just like he has done there. He uses me. We get inside a corner. We can. We get shot away. We should be 1-0 up here, and in fact, we are. Uses James McCarthy. We've got plenty of space here. Ross McCormack, not Ross McCormack, Ross Barkley might be able to find me. We're in the box. Can we make it three? It's a simple... T Simple task is the phrase I was trying to get out. We're getting actually quite a few uh, diving header trait. That might be quite good. Some new uh, celebrations as well. Two goals for us so far in this game. I said Brad Guzan put in a great performance last time we played against Aston Villa. He's unfortunately for him not had much of a chance with any of the goals that we've scored so far. Two expertly placed finishes from us. And the other one was unfortunately just a dodgy rebound for Kevin Morales. But it's Aston Villa nil, Everton 3 here away from home. And we're cruising towards victory. Gets themselves a goal. Maybe we can pick up a hat-trick here. If Naismith can find me. Oh, we've got a way. Hat-trick potentially. Hat-trick is on the score sheet. As soon as they get one back, we extend the lead back to three goals. Benteke gives the ball away there to Stephen Naismith. Gibson might be able to find me around the outside. And I kind of get some support in the box. Gibson's coming again, so I'm going to try and drill it to him. We have done. Gibson first time. What a strike. And he came straight to me to celebrate there. And I appeared to not be able to celebrate with him. There we go. Gets blocked, but we still maintain possession. Ross Barkley's got it here. I'm going to call for a through ball. We could be in. Can we send Everton through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League? Yes, we can. It's 2-2 on the night. 4-3 on aggregate. 
Everton are going to go through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League thanks to a goal from ourselves. With Cavani and Matuidi. Don't let Blaise Matuidi on his left foot, please. The ball's dropped free. Lucas is in. He's made it 3 2. It's 3 2 on the night. It's. Oh, don't believe it. That's actually put us out of the competition. I'm going to call for a through ball. He's threaded it through the gap perfectly for me. Now can we put ourselves 1-0 up? You bet your baton. Baton? Bet your boss and dollar that we do. That was sick. Really good through ball from uh, Seamus Coleman. Absolutely perfectly weighted. One touch and then a finish underneath the goalkeeper. Not so much accuracy on the finish, finish actually. I, I didn't quite get that into the corner the way I would have liked. But the power on it was enough to get it past Julius Cesar. But we might be able to create something else if I get around the outside of Neda Manua here. Stand the ball up for Ross Barkley. Arriving late. Is he going to go in? He's bundled it over the line. That's our 40th assist of our career. Shot passing goes up one. And he's going to find me just... We pass the ball to Ross Barkley. We found him. Has the shot. Tidy little finish inside the bottom corner. Let me celebrate with Ross Barkley. He wants to celebrate with me. I want to celebrate with him. We're chasing each other around the pitch and can't actually... Come here, Ross. There we go. Bloody hell. That was too much hard work, wasn't it? Somehow, McCarthy kicks the ball into my shins and we keep the ball. I'm just going to try and finesse this with the outside. My right foot from the edge of the box and we've got ourselves a hat-trick. That is absolutely superb. 5-0 now. Gibson might be able to find me here. No, we've got my guy Gay the far side. going to find me though. I'm actually going to try and dig this out for the far top corner. Oh, we've done it, boys. We're off the mark. 27 minutes in. I'm going to slide into the goal mouth because I feel like it. Wonderful finesse shot. Dug it out from underneath our feet. And that flew into the top corner. Darren, no, James McCarthy found me well. First touch to settle it. And I just, I just felt the, the urge to just go for that from that distance. If we get a better replay angle from any of these from behind the ball would be fantastic. Just the loftedness on it. The weight of the, uh, of the shot. And the elevation, just absolutely perfect to loop it over the top of the outstretched Adrian in goal and into the back of the net. It's Everton 1, West Ham United 0. So we'll have a look at the league stats, see uh, whether we got the golden boot. We did get the golden boot. 24 goals in the Barclays Premier League this season, 5 more than anyone else. Of course, goals will have come for both Everton and Chelsea, so you have to take that into account. But very, very pleased with that. And we've got the most assists as well, joint with me too. 24 goals in the Premier League, 12 assists as well. That's absolutely superb. That should be a request information. I've considered your request and he's decided to grant it. There we go. You will be added to the transfer list immediately and I shall let you know when an offer is suitable. Pleased with that. So we are, in fact, going to be able to leave Chelsea this transfer window. We'll have to wait and see if we get any offers in for us. Uh, I, if we don't get anything in the uh, right now, then I will uh, I'll skip to when we do get an offer. We're progressing all the way through July here. We have had a transfer offer made for us. Let's skip to that. Transfer offer made for you. Delete that. Atletico Madrid. £90,000 a week at Atleti. So there we go, the end of the second season best bits. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like I say, if you did, drop the video a like and show some support on it. Of course, on the next episode, which will be Saturday afternoon, we'll have season three best bits and then Sunday season four. And then hopefully at some point during the middle of next week, I'll be able to start bringing you full game FIFA 15 content from the early release. We'll just have to, you know, because you only get six hours with the early access to play with. So I'm going to have to... Uh, to adjust my timing slightly and try and figure out how much of which individual series I'm able to record at which particular time. Hopefully I'll be able to start bringing you stuff around about Tuesday, Wednesday next week from the full game. But as for now, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed. Subscribe if you haven't. Drop the video a like and I'll see you next time.